Right, we're back on the renovation project for the bedroom. This is the last video I'll be doing, I think, the last video um, for the bedroom project. Uh, the door's got kind of wardrobes yet, but I put the wardrobes in already. Screw them together, I'll show you what I've got. Screw them together, I'll show you what I've got in a minute. And I'm just cutting up some trim to go up the front and up the top edge. That actually fits brilliantly. So um, I'll use my angle finder. I'll put a link to the angle finder in the bottom. I'm well handy, that's all. And um, just got to cut another piece up and stick this in. Then I'm off for a couple of pints, I think. I'll do the rest tomorrow. Um, should I put glue it or I bought some special stuff? Don't know yet. I've got some. I might use a bit of the old gorilla. Stay in my place. I might use a bit of this. Gorilla wood glue. I'm not sure. I bought some filler to do it, but. Um, Oh, that was that PVA. Oh, uh, I don't know, yeah, I might use that. I bought some filler to do it, actually. I've actually bought some filler, like in a gun, uh, that goes in one of those guns. Where's my gun? It goes in one of these. It's an adhesive, and it's a, an, uh, a filler at the same time. I'm thinking, should I just glue it and just cork it later? I'm not sure yet. I've got plenty of glue. I'll tell you what, I think I'll just whack some of this under and then glue it with this. Undecided. Let me just cut this last piece. I've just got to trim this off here, and I'll show you what I've done in a minute. Right, we're back at the bedroom uh, project. I've cut the piece in. It fits lovely. I'm well pleased, actually. Bit of luck. <laughs> um, ignore the Christmas T-shirt. A bit early. Let me show what you've done. We've done so far. Or I've done so far since we've, the last video. I've moved the light over and fit the light. That was offset because of the cupboard in the corner. I've moved the light over. Jules bought some fantastic fancy Dubry, um bedside cabinets blingy uh lamps right windows need clean ignore that blinds night and day blinds these are called i think they don't block out too much light i must have actually got like you know open closed a lot a lot better than um curtains because they're inset they're inset into the window reveal so you ain't got curtains hanging out the front ignore the tools ignore the mess right there's the wardrobe's fitted in so Ignore the bloody abundance of clothes because a lot of that's been uh, yeah, so I've got rid of I think. So a 100 mil wardrobe there, 100 there and a 75 there. It was a slight change of plan. We was going to have a 100 over the bulkhead of the stairs. Slight change of plan, but then it didn't work out right. We thought, well basically this wall comes out slightly here. I think that <coughs> probably due to my plastering. So when we measure from here to here, 75 was just going to come at the end there, but it didn't work out that way. Hence, we got a bit of a bit of space there, packing piece. It's like a gap down the size. It doesn't protrude too far forward over the window. Bloody hell, it's hot in here. So there's the rad there. These blinds are good. Um, blinds to go. Three clips. Make sure you're getting insurance. Three clips on that one. Two clips on that one. Literally put the clips up. Clip it in and out. Really, really good. Made to measure. Wardrobe there. Wardrobe there. Tax wardrobes. And then this one, I've set back just slightly. Because the bulkhead, obviously, I didn't want it set through too far. I didn't want it level. I didn't want it level this wardrobe because it'd be too far back. You'd have this lump in the way. And the Jill's bought these boxes which fit perfectly in here. So it's all shelves here, and then we have doors on there. You can see that mess. So they have doors, and uh, that's just going to have drawers like that. So it's well, I'm well pleased. So basically, I've got to put a trim piece in there and a trim piece down there. So what I've done here, the plan is here. Um, I've had to cut this wardrobe. <sighs> Hide that sawdust. I've had to cut this wardrobe down at the back here. As you can see, it's a little bit short. But it was meant to come down to here, that was the plan. It was meant to be over here. But because the wardrobe was failing on this, we had to move it over further than we thought. <sighs> Got the sawdust. Right. So the plan is now to put a filler piece in there. See this plinth here? There. Put a piece in there. So um what I've done basically, I went down to Wix's and I bought some MFC, I think it's like furniture board. Stripped it down with me, um, circular saw to height, to the same height as basically as that. Right, here's my first piece going in. I made up a little carbon template. So for that corner there, because it's not a complete angle. But so I'll put a link to the angle finder on Amazon, which I use all the time, it's well handy. So you've got a little flat there. But what I've done then, I've got the multi-tool and I've just cut that out. It just works out perfectly there. So the plan is to put a plinth in here, like that, on a normal wardrobe, and then I've got some spare shelves or whatever. The bottom cut down, so that will cover that gap then at the back. Put some blocks here, and the shelves there. Just enough room for one box there. So there'll be your boxes here. 
these holes, obviously it's a cheap pack of Ikea orders. You get stickers to cover them up if you want, or you can get, they do sell something to cover that up. I've marked that, I've got to wipe that off. Right, basically I'll cut that back of a um, multi tool. I'll cut that, I'll cut me a piece there. Watch this, watch this, I'm proud of this. Set it back a couple of mil there, and that just squeezes in under there. So that's gonna go like that. So I've just got to stick that in and seal it. And then the plan is then we put a filler piece down the side there. Ignore that because that's just packing pieces which we screwed through to the wall. So that goes there and I'll go have a filler piece coming down, scribing down there. That'll fill it in nicely. To the top. Yep, that's it, I'm happy. And that fits in lovely. So I'm just gonna stick that in now. I've got some glue, but I've decided to use this stuff. Um it's only which is cheap stuff, but it's a multi-purpose adhesive and sealing, so I'm gonna whack that in there now. Stick that in and then wipe it with my finger, let that go off. And I'm gonna um, put a decorator's cobble where and repaint this. Just need to fill that bit in as well, my dodgy plastering. So I'm gonna do that now, crack on with that. So that's the position it's gonna go in. Just set back a little bit, similar to the other wardrobes, I think it's just set back, it's just on that radius, I think they bring that forward a bit. Like it's about there, and about there. That's about it. That shelf sit back. That's just there, about there. So what I'll do now is I'll do a pencil line at the back of it, like so. And then that bit there. I'll take that away. That's it. It gives me a guide then. I'll where to squeeze this stuff. And then we whack this on here. This is apparently a filler and as adhesive as well, so let's go for that line. That's it, a little bit, maybe up there. There you go. So I've run a bead of adhesive and sealant there. On there. I'll just, I'll just put that in like so. I want that just set back about there. And I reckon that is about it, just from that red there. That. That's it, I think. I just want it. Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm just copying. I'm just going to copy what I've done on this proper wardrobe there. So it's just set back. You see that plimp there? It's just set back on that radius a bit. Actually, set back for my full virtually double the shell, so I'll set that back a bit more. I think about there that looks nice. I'll set that back there. Oh. Oh, that's it. I want to get me angle finder. Alexa, what's the time? The time is 3.10 p.m. Is it time for a beer yet, Alexa? No answer. All right. I've set that to 90. I just want to get that square. It's four now, so that'd be all right. Like that. So what I'm going to do, I've just checked it's 90 there like so, it's pretty good and I've just done a straight edge like down there like that, which looks pretty good, it's just set back, so um, I'm quite pleased with that. 
that needs to be set back a bit more there but i'm not being fussy now it's set back now right? so that is it let that dry off and then i'm ready to do the next trim piece another time right day two um, i'm back getting a bit further in now but that piece is in there now it's got it in it did taper in a bit down here so we managed to fit that in there we've got a piece in there piece in there the plan is now to put a piece similar to this in the back to support the shelf here and that will cover that up and then put a shelf across there so i'm going to do that now cut that up cut this piece up seven centimeters high that will fit in there glue that in put a piece on top done so now i've stuck a piece there at the back seven centimeters high which replicates the piece at the front and then the plan is just a piece there and a piece there so let's do that now i've cut that piece up all right put some glue on there i've got a piece cut here and that it's gonna go over there like so i'm gonna try and get cut there pins in at the back i might as well put one there with a damaged ball this is a damaged ball there so i'm gonna put that's that god right got that piece in there obviously i've got a cork with that in so just got a cut and put stickers over that i think count sink and stickers now let me make sure that's the right distance from there to there and um, cut this going there go i'm knackered right nearly there what i've done now so i'll put that piece in there um I need a bit of filling in there, obviously. So that's that done. And what I've done now, she wants a shelf. Jill wants a shelf across there. So I've put the piece in there. I marked it with one of these baskets. A bit like that. Just about fits in perfect there. Like so. So I've put um, a shelf clip in there. Add a piece of that to it under there and then that gives you your line at the top of the shelf spirit level across from there to there and that'll be my length on my shelf that's the plan anyway so i've got one more cut to do and then i've got to cork it all in so in that line there spirit level to there this is what i've got here and that will give me the distance of that shelf and i've got to cut that angle then Right, that is it people, shelves are in. Um, put a little bow on the shelf at the bottom there. Shelf there. Just got to cork it all in and, uh, and that basket fits exactly in there. And then we've got another little bow on the shelf underneath. So all it leaves me to do now is to um, do the corking. Um, I've got some decorators cork and uh, if you're gonna do any corking or filling, I've got one of these little kits recommended. Fugi kit, silicone profile and talk available on Amazon, but link below. Thanks for watching, that's the last video. I might do a little video later on, we'll get some doors and that with some I'll uh carry on cooking this in and I'll see you in sometime soon. Thanks for watching, uh, like subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.